So in this video, we're going to look at the surface area of this triangular prism, number three from the assignment. It's a right triangular prism. You'll notice the right angle there. And we're finding the surface area rounded to the nearest tenth. And as we know, we only round our solution. We do not round steps along the way. So let's take a look at what we have. When we're dealing with a triangular prism, the surface area is just the area of all of the surfaces. So we need to figure out how many surfaces we have. In a triangular prism, we have two triangles on each side. So there's two surfaces right there. Let's start labeling them. Triangle one, and triangle two. There are also rectangles on this triangular prism. Rectangle one would be this face that's facing here. Rectangle two we could call the bottom. And rectangle three, the side. We can call it anything we want, but we'll call that one, that two, and that three. So rectangle one, rectangle two, and rectangle three. Sometimes breaking down a surface area problem into each of the individual surfaces just makes it a lot easier to make sure you haven't missed a side or that you haven't substituted incorrectly into a formula. I like this approach. Triangle one. The formula for the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So I'm going to start by writing that. One half base times height. Well, with the right triangle, the height always forms a right angle with the base. And with the, right angle, with the right triangle, it's very simple because they give us both. We've got the height here and the base here. Or if we flip it, we could say the height is 21 and the base is 20. But we'll stick with it as the drawing indicates. The height is 20 and the base is 21. So 1 half times 21 times 20. Same thing occurs down here. 1 half base times height, one-half times 21 times 20. So 21 times 20 is 420. Half of that is 210. I'm going to have 210 here, millimeters squared. I'm going to have 210 here, millimeters squared. And so far, I have two of my sides completed. I now need to do the rectangles. So rectangles, the formula is very simple. Length times width. Length times width. And length times width. The rectangles all have the same length. In a triangular prism, 35 millimeters describes this side, the top side, and that back side. So the length is 35 for all of those. 35 and 35. We're multiplying that by the width of the, of the rectangle. But the width is different for each of these rectangles. This width is 21. So the bottom rectangle is 35 by 21. This facing rectangle here is 35 by 29. And then the one in the back is 35 by 20. So I believe we said this would be rectangle 1. 35 by 29. Rectangle 2 will be the bottom rectangle, 35 by 21. And rectangle 3 will be the rectangle on the side, 35 by 20. When we do our calculations, we will find that 29 times 35 is 1,015. And I'll go ahead and keep these in red to keep it consistent. 1,015 millimeters squared. 35 times 21 is 735 millimeters squared. And 35 times 20 is 700 millimeters squared. When we add those together, 210 plus 210 plus 1,015 plus 735 plus 700, we achieve our answer of 2,870 millimeters squared. That is our answer. And we know that the area is always squared 
and we help remember that with square Riyadh. All right? There's a triangular prism solved for you. Please let me know if you have any questions.